In this video, we will learn how to model and analyze a simple truss structure in Inventor Nostrum. We will model this particular truss structure with three truss members AB, AC, and AD. Member AB and AD has a length of L equal to 2 meters. Member AC is diagonal and the point C has a horizontal distance of L and as well as the vertical distance is also L. Moreover, point B, C and D are hinged. So they can only rotate around these points in the plane of this screen. The cross section of all members are 0 0.0012 square meter. A 30 kilo newton or 30,000 newton force is applied vertically downwards from point A. The truss member is made of alloy steel and necessary material properties for alloy steel will be used from inventor material library. So the steps involved to model this structure in inventor and nastran are first we will draw these three lines in inventor then we will switch to nastran within inventor when we are in nastran we will make sure that the boundary conditions at these three points are hinged then we will define the alloy steel material and then apply the force finally we'll represent these uh, truss members by connector elements and run the simulation after the simulation is complete it only takes few seconds you would be able to see the deformation in this truss due to the application of force f so let's open inventor and start modeling this is the welcome page of inventor we will start by creating a new file and while this standard is selected we will click create as the length of the truss was given in meters it is a good practice that we check what unit is in inventor now operating and if we are not happy we can change the unit system for that we will go to tools document settings and in unit we will change the unit of length to meters Optionally, we can also change the unit of mass to kilogram such that it becomes SI unit. Apply and close. Now we will draw those three lines of the truss member. For drawing, we will click sketch and then select line. Then we have an option to select out of three planes. Select any of them, preferably XY plane. And as line is already selected, I will select the first point in the origin and move my mouse horizontally as I do you can see there is a blue box and that means you can type in numbers and that will accept as the dimension of this line so I will type in my keyboard 2 and then enter and by that I have a horizontal line of 2 meters I will again click line click the point here and move upwards such that it stays vertical and type 2 and enter so that will make sure we have a line of 2 meters the simplest way to draw the diagonal line is to select line first select this point and then go at this end point and you can see there is a horizontal line that makes sure that this end point is two meters vertically up and then if we again go and uh, come close to don't click anything come close to this point now inventor also knows that I am interested in this uh, distance so now uh, as I touched both of the points did not click but simply move my mouse and touch when I go up now at some point I can see there is a dotted uh, vertical and dotted horizontal line that means I am at distance 2 meter vertically and distance 2 meter horizontally left click and accept click escape and uh, here we have the truss structure now to go ahead and model we will finish sketch we'll uh, click on front view and uh, now we will move to Nastran. To do so, go to Environment and AutoCAD Inventor Nastran. To now model these simple lines into truss members and to analyze its displacement due to applied force, we will build up the model in this model tree. Expand that. To make things simple, we'll follow the necessary steps from top 
to bottom whichever is relevant to this model so first one is material so this is definitely relevant so there is by default a generic material let's just delete that and then create a new material so here is a pop-up you can select material click there from inventor library we will see this alloy steel is available select ok and the material property density the young's modulus the poisson's ratio the plasticity coefficient along with the strength and yield stress is updated here for alloy steel so click ok next we will create constraint and select these three points to be in hinge boundary condition so right click new I can already start clicking these points and these points will be appearing one by one in this box so this is the first point this is the second point first point second point and this is the third point so there are three points that I have selected and I want that these three points can only rotate around the Z axis note this is X this is Y then the out of the plane axis is Z axis. So around Z axis rotation means they can only rotate around these points. So to allow this rotation, I will untick this RZ or rotation along the Z axis. But uh, the translation TX along the X axis, the translation TY or translation TZ, which is out of the plane are ticked means they cannot move in those translational degree of freedom and these three points they also cannot rotate around x and y axis they can only rotate around the z axis that means around the particular points that we have selected so by that we have our boundary condition hinge in these three points click ok our boundary conditions are now applied next relevant thing in this model tree is load so let's right click a new load and this load is along the y direction but negative y direction and we will apply this load in this a point or this corner point so select this point you can see the unit of the load is newton so we will uh, say 30,000 newton or 30 kilonewton but we have to put a minus sign in front to let it know that the direction is downwards or negative y axis so click ok the load is applied one important difference when you do finite element simulation in nastran with the truss members is that you don't need to create or generate mesh for this structure instead you create connectors for each member of the truss structure so let's uh, create one connector for the member ab so optionally i can also name it or i can just keep it connector one this connector i have point a here and point b here so you can see that uh, this is now highlighted as a blue rod and uh, this is the connector if you remember from the question that uh, the cross-sectional area you can see the unit is meter square given for this problem is 0 0.0012 so our first connector is defined similarly I will go ahead and create two more connectors with the same cross-sectional area So all these three connectors are now defined now we can run the simulation and see the deformation let's run it and uh, even before run it we have to save so let's save and as we save the simulation has started to run simulation is now complete and here we can see the deformation we can also see here the maximum displacement a nicer way to see the deformed shape of the truss is to go to part and find these connectors so there are three connectors of course inside so click this uh, root connector right click there and select hide all and here you can see all the connectors with their uh, displacement distribution if you want you can um, change it to stress 
and then you will find that there is a constant stress on each of those truss but uh, in our case we will look into displacement and we will again look into displacement in uh, millimeters and we can see the maximum displacement in this truss due to application of 30 kN is 0 0.1999 millimeters sometimes it is important to know what are the force on each truss member if you want to also see that result go to analysis uh, right click and edit and tick this uh, data type force and ok now you can run this simulation again so let's run it the simulation is complete now I will go to connectors and do hide all and now if we select others and then uh, it is possible to see the force and um, the rod force a better way to inspect is select probe and uh, select anywhere because the rod force will be constant and I can see the rod force here is 23,786 Newton the rod force here is 8786 and the rod force here it's in compression it's in minus 6213 newton many a time these uh, stress structures are solved using analytical methods and then uh, you can compare the result from your analysis with the finite element simulation in nastran by using the probe in rod force